Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tri-Centis Tosca Advanced Level Training. So this is our lesson 4 if you compare with the Advanced Level Training. But this is a 19th lesson as an overall Tri-Centis Tosca Automation Concepts. So we are going little more and more advanced level concepts. Okay. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you how can you use while, if, and do statements by using Tricentis Tosca 16. Please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon, and you'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. Okay. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you conditional and loop statements. So I'm going to explain what while, if and do statements are. And I'm going to teach you how can you set a while statement in Tosca by using a real time example. A while statement is a loop used for running test steps many times as long as a particular condition is met. The condition no longer match, then the loop stops. Okay, so I'm going to teach you by using a real time example where we can use while statement to repeat couple of test steps while automating your test case. Okay, so for this particular lesson, it's a prerequisite is to import AS1 additional material base dot TSU for this particular exercise. Okay, so now let's jump onto the system and see how can we use while statement by using latest version Tosca 16. Okay, so this is my Tosca latest version 16. Okay, so before we start using while statement while automating our test case let me explain you what is the scenario that we are going to automate so that i can use while very effectively okay so let's go back to my web shop okay so what we are going to do we are going to automate empty shopping cart scenario what it means so before i execute any test case right i want to make sure that your shopping cart is empty okay so for that once you are into shopping cart so if you see this is your shopping cart table so at the back end it's a web table where your all the items will be stored okay so i need to empty this shopping cart how check the item if the shopping cart exists any item check this click on update shopping cart that will remove that item and again i want to check do i have any items yes i found one other item check this click on update shopping cart so now do i have any other item into shopping cart yes check this and update shopping cart do you have any other item in the shopping cart no now i need to exit i mean exit means i need to click on log out wait until login appears and then close the browser okay that's what I need to automate. That is the scenario. Okay. So let's go back to my Tricentis Tosca. So as I told you, I need to create a new workspace and I need to import the TSU file, additional material based TSU file so that I will have some predefined libraries and predefined modules that are already created. So if you want to access all these materials like presentation, PDF, and then this um, TSU files, you can basically go to my Udemy course. You can subscribe to my Udemy course. I'm going to leave my uh, Udemy course in the description. Okay. Um, where you can access all the artifacts and, and also, in fact, you can simply access the entire workspace that I'm working on. Okay. So now let's go here and create a new workspace okay so let's name this as automation specialist level 2 and i want to use a workspace template here 
I don't want to use a standard TSU. I want to use this one. Okay, additional material based TSU. Browse this. And then, yeah, this is the one. Okay, this is the one I want to use. And then open this. Now click on OK. So now it is going to create a new workspace where you will have some predefined activities. Basically, predefined test case folders, predefined uh, uh, modules or the controls, okay, that are already captured, okay. And here, so once you land on here, I'm going to create a new reusable test block because see emptying a shopping cart is a reusable function. So anytime multiple test cases, I can reuse that, right? So that's why I'm going to use reusable test blocks. Okay. So if you remember in my previous uh, uh, specialist level one sessions, right? Have I explained you how to create libraries and then how can you create reusable test blocks, right? So if you see, this is my library. I want to create a new reusable test block here. Okay, right click, create new reusable test block and name this as empty shopping cart. Okay, so this is my new reusable test block. Let's concentrate on empty shopping cart. Now let us insert the modules. I want to insert the module called top menu three times. Okay. First, insert the top menu and name this as navigate to shopping cart. Navigate to shopping cart. Done. Let me insert one more time same top menu module and name this as logout and let me insert one more time top menu okay and this time name this as wait until logged out logout wait until logged out logged out okay and then now I want to insert a standard module called close browser right close browser that's it now let us insert the values okay first what we are going to do you need to click on a shopping cart correct let's click on that means I need to put some x value here and your action mode as input and then I need to click on logout so basically, of course, once you go to the shopping cart, you will be performing removal of the emptying the shopping cart. I'm going to tell you that. Okay. And log out. Once you log out, you need to wait until this login link appears. So for that, here, you need to provide the login visible, visibility criteria. If it is visible, right? Visible is equal to true wait until visible is true that means I need to select the action mode as wait on so I'm instructing tasker wait until this login is visible true okay until login visible true right so once that is done once that is done now I'm gonna close the browser correct so here title of the browser is demo star. I'm using regular expression. Okay, done. Now, here, now I need to perform empty. Once I go to the shopping cart, I need to perform empty, right? Emptying the shopping cart. So for that, let me introduce a new test step. Create while, create while statement. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to, let's collapse all this. I need to bring this while loop after navigate to shopping cart. After navigating to shopping cart, I want to perform some actions. What? I need to empty the shopping cart. Correct? 
So now, first let's concentrate on condition. Under while loop, let's go to condition. So here I want to import a module called shopping cart. Correct? So I have to go to the shopping cart. Under shopping cart, I need to verify if this shopping cart has a shopping cart table. If you remember, if you add any item, that item will be stored in the table. Correct? Let me add some items. Okay, let's log in and add some items so that you understand very well. So go to appearance and choose, add jeans, add something, add bag, right? So now you go to shopping cart. I want to verify if the table exists, right? This shopping cart table, correct? So for that, I need to see condition is if, if your shopping cart products, this is a table, this is your table. If this exists, that means go here, select exist equal to true right but here action mode is verify i want to verify if this table exists or not if this exists then let's go to your loop what it needs to do it needs to start emptying the cart correct so control t again shopping cart in import the same module and here i need to select right in the table this is my first row i have to select first row checkbox for that go to rows and then select this first row dollar one so i've already explained you about how to handle the tables web tables in my previous sessions okay i would recommend you guys to visit those videos okay and here once you select one you will see see remove this is my remove column remove column right under this remove column again here my um, action mode should be again select sorry not this one so this one this one this one is select under remove column, under remove column, there is a remove checkbox. I need to check this, right? So that's why I have to change this to input and this is, uh, select this as true. This checkbox should be true. Understand? So this checkbox is true select 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 and then this is true and once that is done so once i select this i need to update the shopping cart so for that click on shopping cart update shopping cart button correct once that is done again it goes back to the condition do you have a shopping cart still yes again come here again now select the first checkbox and then update the shopping cart. So as soon as you update the shopping cart, your shopping cart is, let's say select this, update the shopping cart, done, right? Now I have another item. So it goes back to the condition, still this table exists, yes. And then it goes here and selects your first, selects your first checkbox and then clicks on update shopping cart, correct? So that's how we are gonna perform. So once that is done, I think we are good. Now we are ready to run this particular reusable test step block correct so let's okay for that first before you run you need to make sure that you have some let me add some more uh, items to the shopping cart okay let me add this also to the shopping cart and then let me add this also to the shopping cart okay um okay let me select this add to the shopping cart okay so i have total four items okay and here yeah i have two bags okay right now i need to run now okay you should be login and then let's oh you need not to click on your 
it's going to click on shopping cart anyway so let's go here okay okay so now right click and run in scratch book See, clicked on shopping cart now see it checked the first checkbox updated shopping cart second updated shopping cart now it's empty it's gonna log out and then it's gonna close the browser right once this login link identifies it will close the browser done it's closed the browser so our test case is passed see everything is passed while loop repeated how many times see this while loop repeated four times because there are four items one two three four that is the reason it repeated four times and then logged out and waited until the login appears and close the browser okay so hope you all understand the concept very well it is very very important concept in the real time okay if you have any queries leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your queries thank you